Trump plans to hit the ground running on day one of his presidency. He has been recruiting people to fill up key positions in his administration at breakneck speed. With Homan now sealed as the border char, Trump is quickly moving to finalize other key appointments. Next key man on the list is Mike Walsh, who is likely to be appointed the national security advisor. But who is Mike Walsh? And why does Trump want to appoint him his NSA? Walsh is what some call a China hawk. And in what appears to be a calculated stance against China, US President-elect Donald Trump has reportedly picked the Florida representative as his national security advisor. As some of you might know, Walsh is a retired Army Green Beret known for his extensive knowledge of military operations and policy. He is a vocal critic of China and a staunch advocate for bolstering US strategic readiness in the Indo-Pacific. If there's one thing that Walsh appointment makes clear, it is that Trump is serious about taking on China. Because Walsh is a vocal and staunch critic of the CCP, he is known to have asked for a boycott of the 2022 Winter Olympics in Beijing due to concerns over COVID-19's origins and China's treatment of Uyghurs. And Walsh seems ready to hit the ground running just like Trump. Before the elections he wrote a Joint Economist article in which he emphasized the need for America to shift attention from Europe and the Middle East to the Indo-Pacific. Walsh is in favor of strengthening the US military to deter potential Chinese aggression, particularly towards Taiwan. Uh, it's really the Chinese Communist Party, not its people, uh, but the government that is continuing to be aggressive in the South China Sea and the Indian Ocean, its relationships with, uh, with countries like Pakistan and on uh, India's, on the line of control on India's border. We're seeing aggression all around. So we need to work together in every aspect, I think, to deter uh, that type of aggression and have the Chinese Communist Party know that we are standing together as like democracies for a free and open Indo-Pacific. Walsh will play a crucial role in Trump's administration and for India which has had to deal with China on its border, Walsh's strategic focus appears as a promising development. Walsh is also the co-head of the India Caucus in Congress and has supported enhanced US-India ties, indicating that his new role could further strengthen this partnership. So far Trump has appointed Elise Stefanik as US Ambassador to the UN and Tom Homan as Border Char and with the addition of Walsh Trump is signaling he means business. With nearly seven to days to go before his inauguration Trump seems to be assembling a team of men and women who will help him do what he perhaps could not in his first terms.